I love what I'm hearing and seeing in music right now. Putting vulnerability over viability and expression over perfection. It's freeing to listen to and it's freeing when we go to create music ourselves. Embrace the mindset of artists like Chinchilla and Ren. Not that they're not good, they are fantastic, but they do not pursue goodness at the expense of being truly vulnerable and connected with themselves and with others. And you see this not only in their music, but in how they interact with their fan bases. Now I've listened to the studio version of Fingers, but I've not seen or heard this live for Hunger TV version. Lots of you recommended I go through this one. I'm looking forward to seeing what Chinchilla does at the end with some of the improvisational layers that she put in the studio version. Looking forward to seeing how she translate that for live. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Choosing her onsets in the middle of words, super expressive, wonderful thing to do. Also, in addition to this smoky tone, this airy, raspy, slightly compressed sound that she's doing, listen to how she has these runs and these articulations, but they take such a backseat to the overall tonal expression of her voice. Let's go back. <laughs> the way she does that here in this live version it's there there's this yuck to it that that isn't quite as much there in the studio version as always, favorite spot. okay now let's let's just take that favorite spot do you hear how i'm finishing each note with a bit of a whisper engagement favorite spot this goes hand in hand with her her onset, her separating words that aren't normally separated. Sing a note and then finish with a bit of compressed air. It's not, you're just sighing out of it. Uh, you're not doing that. It's, uh, uh, to really exaggerate it. Uh, here I'm, com I'm compressing, I'm holding back air as I'm removing the note. This is gonna help you develop this smoky raspy sound. One by one, yes, I am still singing. Combine the note with the compressed air and practice going back and forth. And before you know it, they meld. If you'd like help with your art, with your musical expression through your voice, click the link below and join my free voice course. I'll help you shake off that. Gotta be perfect. Gotta hit that certain note. Gotta achieve. I'll help you shake that off and pursue the more meaningful ways to express with your voice. And as a result, you will become what you wanted to be. And one by one, I'll cut your fingers clean off. Oh. <laughs> this moving of the hand, this getting the body involved, you can tell that she's immersed in this story 
in this presentation. She's in character. She is not focusing on hitting notes. She is focusing on the musical acting that she has become a part of. Clean up. So you can never pull me down. One by one, ah, box. You hear that that rasp attachment all over this. One by one, clear. Uh, you hear? I'm exaggerating it, but lots of people don't separate that. They either think, "Oh, you just got a naturally raspy voice." That might be true for some, but don't let naturally raspy voices keep you from developing your own wonderful natural raspy sound. One by one, ah, uh, box them up, scream murder. No, you can never hurt no one. Hear that dynamic shift? Mur murder, murder. Went from that rasp to the belt. So good. So subtle. All these different ways that she's moving her sound around is what makes her voice interesting. Murder. <sighs> she signs no, out of it. Can never hurt no one. So tell me where you're gone, gone. And tell me is the fun gone? Whoa. You you largely don't hear the rasp in the same way anymore. As she's brought it more forward and started to belt. So tell me where you're gone, gone. Chesty. And tell me is the fun gone? Whoa. Maybe I should shed a tear. This was me last year, so many late at night where no one hears us. I won't bite. That sheen on her voice is so incredibly beautiful. The the breathiness, that compression, the notes. Oh, it's just such a beautiful sound. One hears us. I Don't discount that. Don't bite and one by one I'll cut your fingers clean off. Off? So you can never pull me down. One by one I'll box them up. Scream murder. Little grit at the end of murder. Ah, falling into that compression. That's cool. Them up, scream murder. So you can never hurt no one. Okay, before we enjoy this, let's go back and listen to this. That, that ramp up in energy, absolutely incredible. slide these are the kinds of articulations that are awfully hard to do when your voice is being digitally manipulated they're not impossible but the rawness the way she's going from different tones her belt voice comes out here she slides up to that note and just it's it's like you're, you're like okay i'm just gonna i'm just gonna give you my fingers cut them off you can you can have them she has us right where she wants us as a listener. We can't wait to see what she does next because what she's just done has hit us so hard. Go!
takes this up an octave. That again, gotta hear that again. That's different than the studio version. And one, five, one. One, five, five. Here she sighs out of those high notes. That contrast between her belt and that very mouse like sweet sound up there. The best, most manipulative villains are able to be sweet and brutal at the same time. See, she's even getting a little bit of that growl in with her head voice. That's hard to do. One, five, one, oh, cut your fingers. I don't know if I'm selling it. <laughs> but even just experimenting in the ways that I hear her doing in such a genuine way, without judgment, what comes out with my own voice, I'm unlocking all sorts of things that I don't even know I'm unlocking yet. Oh, let's talk about that run, but let's talk about her tone placement here. What that pull me down. Listen to this again. Fingers clean off. So you can never pull me down. Pull me down. Pull me down. Oh. There's some really neat things going on here. A lot of times as singers, we ask ourselves, like, what's the best tone for this song? What what's the best sound I should have? I'm just I'm just looking for my tone. She has multiple tones. She has almost an infinite variety of tones. And you hear it in that pull me down where she's darkening, lowering her larynx, placing it back a little bit, right after the pull. That's very forward. Me down. You hear if I sang the whole thing like that, pull me down. It doesn't work. But she's she's like blossoming as she's getting higher and belting. And then as she goes down, she inserts a little rest, she loads her larynx, she places the notes and vowels differently. This is a lot to take in if you're if you're listening, which is why I keep repeating things and, and listening again. But if we start to think like this think dynamically with our voice instead of just about the notes so many things that she's doing it's going to make a lot more sense so you can never pull me down, down. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. how she stops with those onsets percussion even in the midst of a run that's cool can never pull me down Growls, I gotta go back. The energy that she has is inspiring enough to pull things out of my voice by itself. How she climbed there and had that. Just just brief grit, growl thing going on. It's not like she's going into it going, I gotta be distorted. This energy is overtaking her and she understands the technique and how to place things to get those sounds. But in this moment, it is happening accidentally. It is happening accidentally or maybe not accidentally, maybe just as a result of the energy that she's bringing in. The muscle memory that she's trained for with her voice is coming out here in a way that's purely expressive and not necessarily calculated. No Oh, did 
did you hear the yeah? She she rather than sighing out of that one, she's been doing a lot of the say uh, where she she lets out the air. But on that last you, she 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 crimped it. She, yeah. Before she let any air out. That was neat. That was a neat different expression. Cause karma's got it bad for you. Yeah. Now she's in the shape of me. And if I were you. Now you can tell they're not using pitch correction here. <laughs> Those notes in that run were not perfect. They weren't perfectly on pitch, but they were awesome because of it. The expression, the tone, way before getting those, those notes exactly what a computer would say they need to be. Watch how she moves her jaw along with that run. How free she is, how tension free she is. Part of that moving of her jaw, you can hear it, we'll listen again, is she's modifying the vowel of the E into a slight eh or eh, eh. And it, it makes the, the articulation of the run seem greater than it actually is if we were just looking at how she's moving her pitch around. Listen again. I'm exaggerating that, but I bet you'll never listen to runs the same again. Listen for those slight vowel slants or modifications as they're doing the run to create more articulation out of the run. She just changed her character or or got back in to a, to the character that was there earlier. One by one. Not afraid to go on the fringes of 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 you know these these creepy people that she's representing here. And she's in the shape of me. And she's in the shape of me. Two one by one. Oh. What a presentation. Shape on me, shape on me, shape on me. And I'm going to win. So keep them close to you. She's darkened again. So keep them close to you. From here. Close. So keep them close to you. My shit. Put your keys in your knuckles like I have to. Absolutely amazing performance in the details, in the overall, in the production. But man, what an incredible vocal performance. I've really been enjoying getting into the music of Chinchilla and Ren. Be sure to check out my other reactions to their stuff if you haven't already. And again, if you'd like more help pulling things out of your own voice, click that link below and join my free course. We'll see you for more.